hello guys welcome to my channel my name is miyaku mimi for short so our next video is daily wire co ceo jeremy boring weigh in on candace and ben shapiro's backlash i mean i say backlash sorry guys let me let me just read it out for you so the daily wire co ceo jeremy boring weighs in on candace owens first Ben Shapiro drama. Wow. Let's check it out. There's been a weird rift between them over Israel that's been a growing source of discomfort for many of us watching it. Where she's gone more and more, it seems to me, pro Palestine, oh, accusing yes. Israel of a genocide. And guys, I don't think Ben's history and this is his connection with Israel like, and, and I how he's been that. voices. To this contextualize is what is Israel is and what what has happened to it here and how wrong Daily it is. Wire and, and so it culminated OIA. a couple weeks ago with Ben saying. I think he's also the producer of the. Or I think he's he's not the producer or the director. I think what she's been Lady saying is disgraceful. And that like, I just I love how he came to like set all these issues and then set she came all out the, and hit him on Tucker's show, and it resulted in this. Twitter exchange in which all the things, all the imagination people are thinking um, between Ben Shapiro and Ben Shapiro talking about being so persecuted. Like, he's well, he wants to talk about this, can't serve like, two masters, how everyone should have God. Their, exchange their own ideas. Then Ben responded uh, saying, yes, if you think taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means quit. Then she responded, quote, you've been acting unprofessional and emotionally unhinged for weeks now. Let's check it out. 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 Let's check and have tried to exercise exceeding understanding for your raw emotion, but you cross a certain line when you come for scripture and read yourself into it. I will not tolerate it. Um, all very awkward. So I know you've said you're not in a position to fire or hire and neither's Ben anymore, but that you wouldn't fire Candace. But before we get to your decisions about her, we just talk about the, how uncomfortable this is and how have you guys been handling it and feeling about it at the Daily Wire? Yeah, I've been handling it by making a movie in Hungary for the last six months, which has been a great way for me personally to handle it. Poor Caleb, <laughs> who's Peace sole out. CEO while I'm out of the country, has really had his hands full. Listen, we, we employ people, give them a platform to give their opinion. We're not always going to agree with the opinions that they give. We empower them to be passionate with those opinions, and sometimes those passions are going to get turned in the wrong direction. And I think that in this particular case, you have two very articulate and passionate people in Ben and Candace, uh, who, whose conflict of visions on this issue spilled out into, into the public square, which is going to happen from time to time. I'm, I wish it hadn't happened the way that it did, but it's gonna happen from time to time. And uh, yeah, I think it just is sort of the territory when you decide to start a media company and give people broad freedom to express opinions. Now, obviously opinions within certain parameters, you know, if. As I said a year ago, if Candace said on the air things that uh, Kanye West was saying a year ago, I, I would have to step in or, or whoever was operating the company at the time would have to step in. But that's not what Candace has done. Candace has expressed opinions that I disagree with, opinions that I maybe even very passionately disagree with in some cases, but that's well within uh, her right as an opinion host at the Daily Wire. And, you know, Ben has the right to be upset about that. Ben, you know, I think Candace is wrong when she says, you know, Ben's been acting unprofessional or, or, or whatever. He's, he, yes, he's emotional. Uh, I think everybody's very emotional. I think Candace is very emotional about the issue. That's why this conflict spilled out the way that it did. But, you know, un unless it becomes more than that, these are two people who can easily speak for themselves. You know, I don't know that I can add much to, uh, add much to the conversation. I, uh, I don't think Ben's been acting emotionally at all. I have to say, I, I listen to a show. I think all Ben's the time. been the most important. I think Ben has been the most important voice in America and perhaps in the world on this issue since 10 7. I think I that agree. he has almost single handedly uh, kept the focus on this the way that it should be. And I think that he is the most well reasoned, articulate voice on the subject that I'm aware of anywhere, anywhere in the world. And not just well reasoned, but of course, as typical with Ben, well informed. I mean, he's the guy. And very well informed. But of course, Knows emotional in a way that we're not used. Things. Of course, emotional in a way that we're not used to seeing Ben em emotional, because it isn't a horrible tragedy that has occurred. It's the worst killing of uh, Jews since the Holocaust. It's the worst act of terrorism since 9/11 anywhere in the you know 
in the West since 9-11. So, of, of course, Ben's been a bit raw about it. I think that's actually given him an air of authority and, and, auth and authenticity on the Raw's issue. Good. It's not. That's right. Yeah. That's what he is. But he's not emotional. I mean, honestly, I've come close to tears many times covering this story. I haven't heard that from him. I've been, re I've been amazed at his self-restraint in containing what must be very, very strong emotions for somebody with such an intimate mm. connection to Israel and with so many friends and, and so on over there. So, okay, bottom line, <laughs> the Daily Wire is not firing Candace Owens, and Candace Owens is not quitting the Daily Wire, as far as we know. Well, as far as I know, Candace isn't quitting. She's on maternity leave. She, she and George oh, had she a, is. a baby, I think, like two days after the Tucker interview or something. Well, again, I was out of the country. I don't know the exact timeline. Um, but so as far as I know, Candace isn't quitting. And no, Daily Wire is not firing Candace for having uh, an opinion that Ben Shapiro disagree with, so, disagrees with or that Jeremy Boring um, disagrees with. I, mm -hmm. I, my, my encouragement to both of them is to, you know, have these disputes uh, as colleagues behind the scenes and beyond that. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's too charged, right? Sometimes you're ready to say something to someone else, but you're not ready to say it right to the other. And probably that's for the best. I mean, especially she's she was 40 weeks pregnant. It's like, but you know, Candace goes and she picks these fights, even though she's 40 weeks pregnant. It's not like he picked on her. She, sometimes she's, sometimes she picked a lot of fights too. Yeah, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? And uh, Candace's great superpower in this world, and she's done so much good with it, is her fearlessness in attacking things when she's passionate. And in, in this case, I think that that was a little bit misguided, but I also think that in many cases, she uses that to great effect. Mm. Well, I think we both can both agree on congrats to her and George for their new baby. I'm sure she's home taking care of him or her and uh, wish her nothing but the best. It's a, it's always rough after you have the baby and you, she already has other kids and she's got a job and it's like, look, my hope for her is that she can enjoy the holidays and not think about any of this nonsense and just enjoy her new babe. Debt, oh, it's stressful. You can go to bed thinking about it. You can wake up thinking about it. It can haunt your days. I've been there, I have, trust me. Before I became a TV person, I was a law school student that had 100,000 bucks in debt and no way to pay it, and I was stressed. High interest credit cards had those too, and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt, and insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. The system traps you. Donewithdebt.com can actually be a lifetime. If you're stressed out about this, listen up. I've talked about my own experience with debt in the past, and I get it. Well, DoneWithDebt.com has got a new strategy to help erase your debt faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Wow, Here's guys, like, this is how an, um, uh, an employer is supposed to handle cases, is supposed to handle issues. I just love the way Jeremy handled everything, the way he even protects his employer, he didn't, he, his uh, employees. How, like... The way he just protects Candice Owen and Bay Shapiro's opinion. And yeah, I know it's, it's good to freedom of speech. I know it's good to exercise that on your opinion, even when two of you don't agree on one. But I just love the way he handled everything. And he was wise enough to shock Megan Kelly, to shut Megan Kelly up on what she was about to say. If you notice, she was about like she was staring up things, spiting things. But Jeremy did not give her that chance. Jeremy, they don't give her that space. All I want is that Candice Owell and Ben Shapiro, they are good uh, co-hosts. They are very, very good together. Like, I just pray they settle all their differences. Whatever is going on, I know it's not too serious, but I just pray they go back there to settle whatever issues they have because we out there, we love watching them. We love seeing them. I know they have many, many, many uh, fans out there who are rooting rooting very very well for them let me know your thoughts are in the comment section let me know how you think or what was your thoughts when Jer uh, megan kelly was interviewing uh, jeremy and what did you, and how did you feel or what did you think between ben uh, whatever matter or whatever is the i don't know so what so what did you think yeah, what did you think that was very serious between Ben Shapiro and uh, Candice Owens? Did you think they are chorus or they are fighting? Did you think it's too serious or to go to that extent? But I thank God that he's not firing, Jeremy is not firing any of, or any of his employees. None of them is going and Candice Owens is on the leave. Yeah, I just wish her well and her family were in this um, 
maternity leave that she has gone on. Um, watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.